How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So today, my wife and I are going to be testing the Bofang UV 5G Plus GMRS handheld radios. We're going to be using the standard 15-inch whip antenna that comes with pretty much all these handheld radios. And she's going to be in the car. I'm going to be in the second floor of the cabin, which is where we conduct all of our tests from. We're going to be running the same routes uh, that we've done on the GM30 by Radiotity so that we can kind of get a little bit of a comparison and also gives us a baseline so we know the outer limits of where we can operate in case of an emergency. So I'm going to I'll go ahead and head into the cabin. She's going to hop in her car. We're going to go ahead and do a radio check down by the mailboxes. And then she's going to continue on going to the checkpoints, checking in at every point as she's driving. And we'll show you on the map to give you kind of an idea of the terrain and kind of just an idea of the distance and what we're looking at. So checkpoints four and five are the tricky checkpoints. These are the ones that we had struggled communicating with, with the radiated GM30s. So I'll be curious to see what these Bofeng UV5G pluses do. Go ahead. Radio check. Read you Lima Charlie. Risky side two four five base. This is base. I read you Lima Charlie. And also don't forget to let me know when you head out to the next checkpoint. Over. I am reading you Lima Charlie. Over. Moving to checkpoint three. Whiskey two four five. Sad to be. This is Whiskey Sad two four five. I read you Lima Charlie. So far, so good. Got three checkpoints, reading loud and clear. We're gonna start getting into some distance now and see what happens. We got some power lines and some different terrain in, in between us here coming up. So be kind of curious to see how this all pans out. Whiskey sad 245 to base at checkpoint four, how copy? I read you loud and clear. Is that the Jake's convenience? I am at Jake's. The last set of radios um, didn't, didn't really get the, a clear reception. I don't think they did not. The these are much better. Yep, that's kind of what I'm thinking too. All right. Well, Luckstone will be the next stop, the last one. And last one, and that will be uh, really good if we can get that to connect. I am on my way. Now, on this next stop, uh, she's going to be between the cabin and there's going to be some elevation. However, there's a major power line. We're talking the huge, the big boy power lines running through. Um, and we did not get very good reception or signal uh, up on that checkpoint. So it'll be interesting to see if this uh, kind of cuts through those power lines. The power lines are basically kind of at eye level with the cabin from where she's going to be. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if these signals cut through there. Whiskey said 245 to base. This is base. I read you loud and I am at the top of, of Lux Stone, and I can hear you. There is some squelching, but I, I can hear you. Up, for driving up, to up to Jeremy's and testing from there. I think we should push the distance a little bit more and get out of the view of those power lines. Yep, I am on my way there. This is Whiskey Sad 245 Base. I hear you pretty good, a little bit of squelch, but still better than the last checkpoint for on the other radios. Over. Get a little closer to the window. 
This is Whiskey Sad 245 Base. I read you a little bit of squelch. I'll copy over. So we didn't make any communication on that stop. And that's definitely got a little bit more terrain in between us there. And I have her now going up to a higher spot. There's actually a church, which is honestly probably a central location where we would have to meet up if there was ever any emergency anyway. So I'll be kind of curious if we can get uh, some communication with there. She'll be up a little bit higher, definitely a little bit further away. So we'll see what happens. Uh, this is Whiskey Sad 245. Radio check over. I can tell that you're there, but I can barely hear what you're saying. I was able to hear you really good, actually. Sounds like these are reception issues at the cabin side. Whiskey side 245 to base. I am heading home. We're going to call it a day. So there you have it. She was able to broadcast to us. We were not able to broadcast to her. She was not hearing us. She said she heard a little bit of muffling. However, nothing uh, that she could understand. We were not able to fully communicate. I am surprised, though, that I'm picking up her signal. But here at camp, we're up pretty high. So I can pick up a lot of signals. And again, if I was to use my base station with the antenna on the roof and all that, probably wouldn't have had any problems. But for two handheld radios, just communicating back and forth, I'm super impressed with how these are performing. All right, everybody. Well, the results kind of speak for themselves. Checkpoints four and five were not a problem with these Bofeng UV 5G pluses. Uh, the communication was really good. We had kind of a briefing afterwards and Mrs. says that uh, she prefers these radios over the GM-30s. They're just clearer in terms of the communication and they seem to cut through those power lines, which we're really kind of surprised to see because those power lines add a lot of interference. And then of course, uh, the 2.86 mile, I think that's checkpoint four. That was a pretty big one. We had some troubles communicating on the GM30s with those as well. And so we're pretty impressed with these UV 5G pluses. There's only one kind of hiccup with these radios that kind of like, I don't know, it's more of an annoyance, is that they don't have built-in weather scanning channels. Now, I know you can program in the frequencies manually, but it's always kind of nice just to have all those weather channels kind of in their own little memory bank where you can just go scan them all, especially if you're traveling. Um, but it's not also that difficult to find the different frequencies for the different regional uh, emergency weather um, alert systems and get those programmed in and you'll be pretty much good to go. And I'll definitely take the quality and the distance over those weather channels, which is kind of one of those nitpicking things. Uh, but again, these radios are pretty sweet. We were pretty impressed. I was not thinking that we would actually be able to communicate at checkpoints four and five. So I'm pretty uh, stoked to see that. And I'm excited to go through and test the rest of the radios. We just opened these radios up. Okay, so these are brand new. We're going to start going through some settings, uh, testing privacy codes, all that kind of stuff. Um, we really do like to go through and PMCS these radios and test them thoroughly. So there you have it for the distance test. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.